Hello, greetings everybody. Um, I'm back again with a new video. I haven't done a video for absolutely ages. Um, can't remember last time I did one actually. Hope everyone's well. Hope you're getting through COVID and challenging times and everyone's uh, feeling good. Right, I've got a new guitar to show you and it's an absolute killer. It's a Faith. There you go, it's a Faith Venus. This is the Naked Edition. Naked such... Um, called that way because it has no finish on it basically um so yeah designed by patrick james eggle made in indonesia um faith for british company based in uh, osprey in shropshire and yes this is one of many guitars they make now this is being the naked edition um this is basically the sort of the bottom of the range the lowest point that they make the lowest entry level type guitar. And I'm absolutely stunned by how good it is. It is so good. It, well, it sustains for a long time, which is good. It's an absolute beauty. Now, I know I said it's the base, it's like the base model, but normally when you have like model ranges, the base model has got laminate back and sides and it's got you know the hardware is not very good and it kind of you know upgrades as you go this one has got all solid wood it's got solid mahogany back and sides mahogany neck i think it's ebony on the on certainly on the facing of the headstock and on the little bit on the heel um and and the bridge is ebony the road i think i think it's rosewood on the on the uh, fingerboard it might be um it might be ebony, but it's got new bone, which is like a synthetic bone on the saddle and on the nut. And the top is solid Engelmann spruce, which is North American, I believe. I think anyway, uh, made in Indonesia, like I say, and I'm just absolutely stunned by it. I have a Taylor 214 CE, which I'm just about to sell, which costs nearly four times the cost of this, and it's nowhere near as good. I'm honestly the build quality is amazing the sound is great the pickup system is really good it's a Fishman Precis which is that one there it's got a tuner built in which is really accurate the tuners themselves I don't know they look like Grover type tuners I'm not sure they are Grovers but they they're really they've got you know nice resistance they're really accurate the setup this is the best set up guitar i've ever bought that i've not needed to do anything to i think they send them they're obviously made in indonesia then they come back to the uk and i think they they do the setups in the in the factory here in the uk um so yeah it just it's, it's such a beautiful sound now i don't do any kind of wiggly wiggly stuff up here but i do do a lot of open chords i like to play open chords further up the neck and when the intonation's out all the open strings ring open and compared to your fretted strings they sound terrible it all sounds out of tune you've got to retune it to play and then when you get back down here again it's out of tune again but on here twelfth fret sort of e e major shape chord And it's not absolutely spot on because I haven't tuned it, but that's pretty, pretty good, I think. So, you know, I'm really impressed with the setup, basically. The action's really low. I don't like a really low action. This is about as low as I like it. So if I was, if I'd said, if I had taken this in to be set up, it would have been about this kind of level, um, you know, in terms of the string height. So yeah, it's a, it's a really, really nice guitar. <laughs> Responds quite well to quite sort of aggressive hard picking. Which is good and also it responds nicely to nice. gets 
really kind of mellow as well. Finger style. It's a really good guitar. Now, the, I think the, re the, the recommended retail price for these is 499 in the UK, 499 pounds sterling. Most shops are doing these for about 400. Um, I got this from GAK in Brighton for 379, which was the cheapest I could find it for um, this time of year, April 2021. So I was really pleased with that. Not a bad price at all. And for the guitar, it's a very good price anyway. And the fact that it's all solid wood is amazing when you've got like Taylor making their guitars with um, solid tops, but laminate back and sides. They call it layered, but it's laminate, you know, however you want to dress it up, it's still laminate. Whereas this is all solid. And, you know, it's, it's just such a quality guitar. The finishing is brilliant. Every, all the build quality, everything is fantastic. Even if you peer inside, all the bracing is beautifully finished. There's no rough edges or... It's just such a great guitar. And for the price, it is absolutely stunning. I'm, you know, I am so impressed. So often you buy a guitar and you like, you know, maybe the sound, but the intonation is not good straight away. Or, you know, you like the hardware, but it's got laminate back and sides. Or it's got a nice action, but the, like, the tune is not accurate. Everything about this is spot on. Everything about it is exactly what I would want it to be and it does exactly what I would want it to do. So, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased. So I had this about a week now and it's definitely a keeper. Um, it comes with a gig bag, um, which is all right. It's, you know, it's not really, it doesn't really offer too much protection. It's good for probably keeping the dust off it at home, but you wouldn't want to take it out really. So I bought a half case and the half case I bought, is the actual the proper one that you get from faith itself there you go which is a beautiful hard case it's got a lovely nice green lining in there which is beautiful which is beautiful it's made specifically for the guitar for the venus so it fits perfectly and offers great protection and that's where i'm going to put it in there in a minute when i finish talking to you so there you go it's the faith venus naked edition uh, like I say, 379 in the UK or there or thereabouts. Um, the case is about 80 quid as well. Um, and yeah, it's really, really great. The reason I bought this, incidentally, was as we emerge from lockdown, I have gigs coming up. And you, you may have seen my uh, Sigma J200 copy that I have, which is my sort of number one guitar, which I use a lot. It's, it's beautiful to play, it's great. It's also very heavy. And I found when I was gigging it before before lockdown, it is quite a, a hefty weight to carry around for you know an hour or half an hour over your shoulder. This thing weighs nothing really, so I was after something lightweight that I could play, that I could uh, take out and play live. This costs about half what the Sigma costs, um, so I kind of thought, well, it's it's a bit cheaper if it gets lost or dinged out on the road. I don't really care as much but actually i would care if it got dinged or nicked because it's beautiful and um i've got an actual an absolute peach here i think so yeah there you go it's the faith naked venus and um go and try one you won't be disappointed all the best cheers <laughs>